This is an introduction on how to get started working with Cineform raw data coming off the Silicon Imaging 2K camera. Speaker XR has the capability of working with the raw files directly, so you don't have to convert into any other format. So what we're looking at here in the desktop of the application is actual raw data. Now here is what you do if you want to select material to work with. First of all, to the left, you basically just select the folder that you want to work with that you know contains the material that you want to look at. And here to the right in the desktop, you'll see thumbnail previews of the clips that are in this folder structure. What you can do right away if you want to make sure you're looking at the right content is scrub through the sequences still here in desktop mode. So you can basically check if this is the right take or if this one here might be better. We'll also help you identify specific content if pretty much all you see is the clapperboard. You can also enlarge the view here. So up to a full size preview of the desktop size area and still scrub through the sequence. Now once you're sure that you want to use this clip, and bring it to the timeline to do further work with it, you simply double click on it and that will add this item to the timeline. You can do this with several clips at once. So I can add really just a couple of these clips and go now into the review mode. So you basically click on desktop down here or you hit B on your keyboard that will close the desktop. Now, right now we're at first position here of this uh, small assembly of clips. So we basically have four clips on the timeline. The timeline starts at position uh, zero and we can immediately start scrubbing through this, these sequences by really just moving the playhead here. So if you click on the playhead and move it forward, you'll be able to see other parts of that clip or in this case, I'm already on the next clip. If you're sure you want to check something with real-time playback, all you got to do is hit the play button down here. Or alternatively, as with many other applications, just use the space bar. If you click it a second time, the playhead will pause and so forth. So if you click it once again, it will go back into playback mode. Now, you can also already start navigating in between clips. Basically, you hit Control shift and the arrow keys to go back and forth. So if the first thing that you want to check is that you've got everything you want to look at, you basically hold down Control shift and arrow keys to go back and forth. If you have control panels attached, then of course it's even easier. There are dedicated buttons on the Tencent CP200TS that will allow you to go from clip to clip. Now, this picture, of course, uh, needs further work. Uh, the most important thing is there is no white balance info applied on this picture yet. We deliver presets for this purpose. So all you got to do to make this happen is click on the Look Store button. That will open the basic Look Store. And you can immediately go to the presets for the silicon imaging camera. So just click on the Select button here with the three dots. And then further down uh, under the main look store, really just select this one here and you'll get the two presets for working with silicone imaging material. So apparently this is an outside scene shot with daylight. So um, we can get started using the 5600K preset. As you will notice in the picture, let me turn that off again just quickly. So this is without the white balance and matrix information applied. This is with the data applied. It will not only have an effect on the white balance itself, but due to the matrix uh, reconstruction applied in our application, it will also have an effect on saturation of all colors. Generally speaking, this will get you a good start for doing further work, especially for rushes. It's recommended that you stick with these presets. Now, once I'm sure I want to use that, I can move on to the next clip and either go again with the presets here in the look store for either daylight or uh, tungsten. But 
uh, yeah, there is an easier way of doing that if you're sure you just want to apply in the first run basically white balance information and these are all charts from the same scenario meaning you want to use the 5600k preset you simply hit one on either the tangent TS panel or one on your numerical uh, keypad on your keyboard and then you basically get the previous settings applied to this shot as well. So if you need to do this for a number of shots, it really goes as fast as this. You basically go to the next shot and apply it, and then go to the next one and hit one again. So you basically get that uh, applied real fast. There are other ways of doing that. If you already know everything you did, for um, whatever is on the timeline, you don't even have to go with the setting clip by clip. Then in this case, you would basically go with a very simple scenario. Let me quickly delete this timeline. So let's go back here to the desktop and select again a couple of shots where we know the 5600K preset will work fine for us. And close the desktop again, so I just hit D. And we'll move the player to per first position. So I click home on the keyboards to get the player here to first position. And what I can do alternatively, instead of getting the white balance preset into play clip by clip, is creating a grading track above all these clips. So I will basically drag and drop from the store here onto the timeline. Now this has created one track for one shot, which I can easily enlarge across the full timeline. And now the immediate advantage of this, of course, is if I now move on to the next clip, it has the white balance preset applied already, and same for the next one, and so forth. So if you have a good number of clips, it might be easier to really just get the white balance applied by doing this on a separate track. Also, another advantage is if people want to look at the base image without anything applied, without any metadata applied, you can turn off this uh, track at once without turning off anything else that uh, will be applied throughout the course. So this gives you a separate layer, which will basically just be there to apply matrix and lookup table section. Uh, you will also see this reflected in the grading interface. So if we now turn this on, you basically do this by hitting Shift S. Same thing if you don't want to see it. If it takes uh, up too much space for review purposes, for example, just hit Shift Space again and then it will go away. So it's basically a toggle. And once you have applied that, and if we click on the grading track here, it will show you with a red dot that work has been done in matrix and lookup table section. So if I click on it, you'll see that all the data that comes with this preset here has now been applied in the matrix section as well as a lookup table for 5600K as well as an outgoing lookup table that will get your picture back into log space to do further work.